Assalamu alaikum HT family, welcome back to the Halal Digest. We are back in Divan and this time we're craving some Halal Indian Pakistani food. HT family, we're Halalifying Usmania and Divan. It's our first time. Let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This Hafsa certified long established restaurant and Divan is one of the more well known uh, restaurants known for their uh, good quality food. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. It's probably been about seven years since the last time I've been there. I can't really remember much, but I always remember that it had good quality. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Asian family, in addition to trying the well-known dishes at these restaurants, we're going to be trying a dish that I've tried for the first time and I want to share that with you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But before that, let's check out what we're going to be halalifying today. Asian family, today we're going to be halalifying their mutton biryani. Mashallah, that looks amazing. We're also going to be halalifying their butter chicken, chicken makni. A must try dish to review, as well as their Peshwari chicken karai. Find the HD family something I've never tried before is a balachi tikka. So let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh, and for dessert, we got their kalandri kheer. Mashallah, it looks amazing. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All right, family, we're going to get started with their mutton biryani. So, a couple. Notable things, number one, a lot of places don't even offer on the weekdays, so to get on the weekday is uh, is pretty nice. But in addition to that, if you could just look at the quality of the rice, and actually you can't feel it, but you know, as I'm moving my spoon, you could tell how fresh the rice is. And then most importantly, look at the amount of flavor that you could see. It's been a long time since I've had biryani to look like this. The flavor, that's all the flavor in there. The marination happens with the tomatoes, the peppers, the onions, the coriander, tons of other spices. And alhamdulillah, it looks like there's a ton of flavor there, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. And then you can look at how tender the lamb looks, or the mutton looks, mashallah. So I'm actually excited to try it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First bite for our brothers and sisters in Kashmir. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Everyone knows the best biryani is homemade biryani. And this tastes like homemade biryani, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. The freshness of the rice, the well-balanced flavors, it's spicy but tolerable and just lots of flavor, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Now, let's try a piece of this tender-looking <laughs> tender looking mutton. And as you can see, it just fall apart tender. So, a couple things. Hopefully, there's no gamey flavor. Hopefully, it's flavorful. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mmm. Mmm. buttery tender flavorful there's just like a hint of gamey flavor something i'd be okay with probably i would prefer chicken but this is this really knocks out of the park alhamdulillah this is some really amazing biryani uh i don't know if i've had a better tasting biryani thus far reviewing halal food alhamdulillah one of the best biryani that i've had so far alhamdulillah i mean a must try when you go to usmania and divan next up hg family is their balachi tikka this is the first time I've tried balachi tikka and it looks amazing. And it's marinated with a special blend of spices then grilled over charcoal. Mashallah, I mean, the color looks nice and alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, it looks, looks, really, looks really yummy. So let's try here. This looks like a thigh piece. So they come in thigh pieces here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So let's take a piece. Just the aroma is, is intense and really, really nice. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I am blown away This is There used to be a restaurant a long time ago in Chicago Called Bukhara I don't know if it was halal or not But it used, used to be a long time ago And uh, this reminds me of that It has just a complex flavor Of some chili and some other spices And it's amazing Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Chicken itself is tender and juicy Really, really amazing chicken, honestly. I think you'll definitely enjoy it, alhamdulillah, rabbil um, alameen. I'm not sure what makes it balachi specifically. It's probably different. I'm sure there's different spices to make it balachi, or I don't know if the style, but if anyone, know, if anyone knows, just comment below, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Next up, HD family is one of our personal favorites, and that's the butter chicken. This is tender pieces of chicken cooked with butter and a variety of other spices. Here it's been sitting, so there's a lot of oil on the top there. So we're mixing it and causing a mess, as you can see. Pretty much for me, and a lot of people disagree, but I judge the whole restaurant based on how they make their butter chicken. <laughs> so here, here we have some nice, beautiful naan. Mashallah, looks good. So we're going to stick it here. So first things first, before I grab any chicken, I need to make sure the sauce tastes good. <laughs> so 
sometimes the sauce is just there's this odd flavor in a lot of restaurants that don't do it right it's too like tomatoey almost um and not just or there's no flavor at all it looks like there's a lot of flavor there there's no flavor at all this looks amazing i mean the, the richness and deepness of the color uh is promising bismillah rahman rahim alhamdulillah <laughs> It looks just, it tastes just as good as it looks, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Lots of good flavor there. There's no presence of a acidic flavor or a uh, any type of flavor that I, I personally don't like. This has just has, that just fulfills a craving of what I think is a good butter chicken, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Amazing, amazing sauce. So now let's try with some chicken here, bismillah. So these are boneless chicken here, bismillah, rahman rahim. Feel pretty tender when I'm breaking them apart. Bismillah. It's very messy. Bismillah. Very rich. Osmani delivers. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. For our final main dish, Ishi family, we have the Pashawri Karai chicken. So this chicken made with a special blend of spices cooked in open wok. The last time I had this was at Aga's in Houston. Again, shout out to our, shout out to the Hadith food scene in Houston. Now, typically you want to enjoy this in a walk, it's very hot, but this is social distancing, COVID, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala end the pandemic as soon as possible, ameen. So here we have some nice, beautiful chicken. We got some of this, this, this sauce or curry or whatever it's called. Lots of spices, some chili, I think. All right. Pretty good flavor overall. So, oh, mashallah, that chicken is tender. Mashallah, bismillah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Chicken is super juicy. Really, really yummy. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Let me try to get a little bit more sauce here. And then also with some chicken. Let's try the whole thing together. Bismillah, Rahman Rahim. It tastes like a, a, a karai, a, a variant of a karai, but I just personally, I think I like my karai a little bit different. Uh, that's a personal preference, but enjoyable otherwise, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. A blessing to be able to afford this, enjoy this in safety. So I always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all these blessings. Uh, but after all this spicy food and dense food, we need a little bit of sweet, we need a little bit of dessert. So here we have some of their kalandri kheer, made from basmati rice, milk, flavored cardamom seeds, almonds, raisins, and other spices. This is basically next level rice pudding. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Let's take a large spoonful. Bismillah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Alhamdulillah. Very, very enjoyable after a meal like this. It's very thick. Usually I see in weddings it's very watery. This is nice and thick. Texture is pretty good, honestly. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. More like an actual traditional rice pudding that you find in a store. Um, that's probably even more thicker, but very enjoyable, alhamdulillah. Not too sweet and very, very tasty, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah. I want to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to have this blessing. I want to thank our subscribers, our viewers, and our future HD family subscribers for supporting the channel. The HD family is by simply watching our videos from beginning to end. They'll be helping support a channel that will help support charitable organizations, inshallah, when we become a YouTube partner. As the HD family knows that we're not only here to halalify, but I have verified that Usmania has good halal food, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Definitely recommend it. If I had to pick one or two dishes, in addition to their man biryani, which is a must try, I would go for the balachi tikka, an amazing tikka, as well as their butter chicken, their chicken, their chicken makin, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. We're also here to be a benefit. As always, we encourage what is good and we stand against injustice and oppression. We are with our brothers and sisters in Gaza, in Palestine, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Jordan, in Turkey, in Egypt, in Yemen, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India, our Rohingya and Uyghur brothers and sisters, our Kashmiri brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters in Kenya, in Sudan, in Somalia, in Algeria, in Morocco, in Libya, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Philippines, in Korea, in Japan, in Korea, here in America, especially our brothers and sisters in the southern states, Texas, etc. 
where they're being, where they're being devastated by the Doric winter cold. In all of North America, in South America, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in Australia, and everywhere where Allah and His Messenger are raised and praised, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a benefit to all of humanity based on the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with that, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be to you all.